You ready? Mm hmm. Welcome back to another video. Today's vlog is going to be my second treatment for Kybella. I just pulled up, but before I walk in, I want to answer some of the questions that people had. I'm sorry it took so long to get this video, but if you guys remember, I said you had to wait six to eight weeks in between treatments, and so I had to wait, out, wait that time before I can start my next video because I'm here for my second treatment now. I had a lot of questions about the pain and I know it seemed dramatic in the video but it was only because I never had this treatment before so everything else like it doesn't hurt I'm, because I'm used to it but this right here I kind of freaked out because I just didn't know what to expect and when it didn't hurt it almost like worried me I was kind of like okay what are we doing but honestly the pain is like very very small there's not much pain um and people keep asking if i see a difference i don't really yet but um i also haven't finished the treatment she said you won't see a difference until like three months you have to let it all dissolve and everything and the results that i'm looking for is nothing like i don't want that super hard um jawline but i just do want like a little bit like slicker you know you know just a little you know like a little something just look a little tighter okay so i just got the text that i can come in i was waiting for not too long it's one o'clock now which is my the time of my appointment so if you have an appointment probably come closer to the exact time so i'm about to walk in guys treatment under for Kybella. Perfect. And I put like some on the top lip because if there's left over because sometimes she's there. like yeah just because I didn't know where else to. Better mm -hmm. to be prepared exactly, right? Exactly yeah. I loved that photo you took when she was injecting. Oh yeah lips. that was actually a still from um a the, video? Mm -hmm. It was so cute. Yeah. How was your recovery with the Kybella? Were you pretty swollen? Uh, yeah. Oh. It was, um, but it wasn't like... Too bad? I think, because we have to wear masks anyway, it kind of oh, yeah. takes away. <laughs> so I was Definitely. able to still, you know, get Go what out I had. and mm -hmm. get by. Yeah, but it was pretty swollen. Okay, I'm going to get right under the chin. So it's still gonna like move, like what's gonna, you don't still like move. it just won't It'll stay just like with my so makeup. Lot. So think about a piece of paper, you know how you fold it over and over it gets a crease? So basically mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the crease. Okay. And then you're still gonna move it and so it's gonna break that crease down again, but temporarily it will fill it in so it's not as deep or as noticeable yeah. when you put makeup on, you mm -hmm. shouldn't see it as much. Okay, that's basically what I need. Kybella is for two vials. Mm -hmm. It's twelve fifty. You need to and do that's it twice. what we're doing yep. for two vials. Okay, two vials is twelve fifty. Okay. And then you need to repeat it in four to six weeks. Okay. And then you see your maximum results in about three months after your last treatment. Okay. Yeah. Cause I mean, I don't notice anything drastic, 
Mm -hmm. It's very normal, the first treatment, to mm -hmm. not really notice anything. Mm -hmm. Starting about two weeks from now, you'll start to notice it. And every week, it just gets better and better and better. Okay. And then it maxes out about three months after this last treatment. So okay. now? It's July, August, September, October. So like mid to the end of October, you should notice a big difference. Oh, wow. This is going to have you sit straight up for me and just relax your chin there so I can see where your natural folds in your skin are. Right Smile. Swallow. Oh, swallow. So I just want to make sure I'm about where I need to go. Okay. Tilt your head back for me for a second. I'm just checking my right here. Left. I can use it either in the smile lines or we can put it in the middle to your tongue. But you think you can take a look with smile lines yeah. and see if you think like there's enough here. If there's still spots that bother you, we can use it there. Mm -hmm. Which needle seems we're going to go to a bit. Just tell me when it gets really cold. I don't think you could ever be too prepared for the lid. That's right. <laughs>
Thank you. So she put a little bit of um, filler in my Cupid's bow just because it was left over from my laugh lines. So yeah, it's not gonna be that big a difference, but you don't wanna waste it since you paid for it. I'm just waiting to get the after photos. Man, you can't see anything from the front really like, oh, I guess you can a little bit, but holy, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. But um, that's going to last that thing right there where all the um, fluid that she put in there to dissolve like the fat that lasts for about a week, maybe a little bit more because actually my face, I feel like didn't go back to normal until like mm, maybe almost two weeks. Oh, my God, you guys. Y'all, I'm letting y'all see a lot of my life, okay? Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday, and I just had my Kybella on Monday. So I'm just getting ready to ice. As you can see, it is still pretty swollen, and that's like fluid in there, so you can fill it. I feel like I could fill it when I like swallow. I don't know if that's in my head or if that's like real but um yeah it's just pretty much still fluid in there and like i said it took almost two weeks for my face to go completely back to normal but like it's less noticeable in about five days there isn't any pain that i'm feeling or anything and then the other areas like i don't feel that at all i really didn't even ice those areas because i just you know kind of let them do what they do i'm going to sit with this ice under here for um a couple minutes and i try to do this at least two to three times a day for like the first three days i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog let me know if there's any other questions that you guys have don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one